The Japanese Terrier, also known as the Nihon Terrier, is a rare small breed with lively, affectionate and loyal personality. In this video I will tell you all you need to know about the Japanese Terrier. I would love to thank Haku for letting me use its photos in this video. If you will like this breed and you would love to see more of it, definitely check him out. Link is in description. The official FCA breed standard described the Japanese Terrier as a small sized dog breed with smarty appearance with a clear cut and compact outline. The Japanese Terrier is a well-balanced and square dog with deep chest, thin and medium long tail and ears that are set high on the head. When the dog is calm, the ears are typically folded forwards, but when alert, they should be erect. This breed has lively and curious expression in their brown eyes. The average height of the Japanese Terrier should be between 30 to 33 cm, which is 11 to 13 inches, and weight is typically between 5 to 9 pounds, which is 2 to 4 kilograms. So as you can see, this truly is a very small dog and there are no big size differences between males and females. The first thing you will most likely notice about this breed is its unique coloring. They have very short coat and they commonly have white body and black or tan head. They can also have some black or tan spots and speckling on their white body. Unlike the majority of terrier breeds, the Japanese terrier was not bred to hunt, but rather to be a great companion and lab dog. But that doesn't mean that they don't have the typical terrier characteristics. This is definitely a lively, cheerful and alert dog breed, just like all the terriers. The Nihon Terrier requires a lot of human companionship, they create a strong bond with its family. On the other hand, they can be somewhat reserved with strangers, but they should never be aggressive without a reason. This is a sensitive breed, so you should be calm and relaxed around them. They can be also a little bit jealous if you will not give them enough attention. This is a true lab dog who enjoys a good cuddling sessions, but they are also pretty active and playful and they will always be ready for a good playtime. This dog breed can live with children in the family, but because they are so small and fragile, make sure the kids are old enough to know how to treat dogs gently and with respect. They can also live with other dogs or cats in the family, especially if they are raised together from the puppyhood. For a long time, Japan was a very isolated country, so we don't know for sure what are the exact ancestors of the Nihon Terrier. Generally, it's believed that their ancestors came to Japan on Dutch or British merchant ships by the dog in Nagasaki, probably in 17th century. Most likely, it was smooth fox terriers and German pinchers who were interbred with some local Japanese dogs, producing a new small terrier type, which became quickly popular in the Nagasaki area. It seems that unlike other terriers, the Japanese terrier ancestors in Japan were not used for hunting vermin, but they were bred to become lab dogs and companions. According to the Japan Kennel Club, it was not until the 1920s when the Japanese terriers were started to be bred intentionally and selectively. The breed standard and Nihon Terrier Club was officially formed in 1930s. World War II was a bad time for all Japanese dogs and even the Japanese terrier numbers declined a lot, but thankfully the breed survived. But they are still quite rare and it's extremely hard to find them outside Japan. Even though this is a lively breed, thanks to their small size it's not hard to meet their exercise needs. Few daily walks accompanied with some playtime will do the trick and then the dog will stay fit and healthy. The overall maintenance is also fairly easy and their coat will stay in good shape even without any grooming. They shed a little bit all year long and if you want to minimize the shedding, then you can brush their coat few times a week. Just like with all dogs, you should also regularly check their ears, eyes, teeth and nails and clip them or clean them if needed. Great fact is that this is usually a very healthy dog breed with average lifespan between 13 to 15 years. They can occasionally suffer from ear infections, eye problems or patella luxation, but overall this truly is a very healthy dog breed. <laughs> 
Tell me in comments what do you like the most about the Japanese Terrier and what is your experience with this dog breed. If you are new on this channel consider subscribing, turn the notifications on and check our Instagram, Facebook links are in description. Thank you for watching, see you in the next video.